someone ran into someone they knew and the person said, you'd be great for a job at my company. I'd like to refer you. And since this person worked with them, the individual writing says, I've had a minor felony conviction. How should I approach letting her know? When, when in the process should I disclose this information? Now, I saw an article uh, on the Shroom website, that's the Society for Human Resources Management. And the article was written by the president of the organization, Johnny C. Taylor, Jr., who says, I applaud your willingness to be candid about your past, but want you to be very smart and intentional when and if you disclose your conviction. Frankly, I subscribe to Don't Ask, Don't Tell when it comes to disclosing former arrests or convictions in the interview process. When I read this, I was shocked. Uh, but let me continue. Many employers don't care about an employee's criminal history, and therefore they don't ask at any point during the hiring process. If you can do the work and are aligned with their culture, they'll hire you. So there's no point to you bringing up an issue that's not relevant to the employer or your ability to do the job. Ah, huh. but even those employers who will inquire about your criminal past, many only want to go back for a specific period of time, usually five to seven years. In fact, many states forbid employers from going back more than seven to 10 years. Now, depending upon the relationship with your former colleague, you may want to disclose your situation with her, especially if she plans on being a reference for you. You don't have to go into detail about your conviction, but she might be able to provide insight into the company's hiring practices and point out any obstacles or restrictions your conviction may present in securing the position. Interesting. Assuming the employer will at some point in the hiring process ask about your criminal conviction, it's better to get out in front of the issue by bringing up your conviction during the interview process. This will demonstrate that you're forthright and transparent and affords you the space to give context to the offense. The last thing you want is for the hiring manager to later discover, uh, discover it from another source and draw their own conclusion or worse, appear to be deceitful. While you should address your conviction, don't focus on the details of your offense. If you've already established yourself in the workplace post-conviction, Highlight your success in returning to work. Be sure to steer the conversation back around to your experience and acumen away from any negative feelings about your past. And he concludes by saying, keep in mind, employers may not hire you depending on the nature and gravity of the offense or, conduct, uh, or conduct, as well as the time passed since the conviction, conduct or other completion of the sentence and the nature of the job held or sought. So folks, this is a change in my past for how this would be handled. Uh, it, it's kinder to folks, and there's a hedge in there, of course, that speaks to whether or not this is something older, and it acknowledges that some firms are still going to reject you. So that's the way to handle it. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as the big game hunter stemming from my time in recruiting where I used to hunt down leaders and staff organizations and did it for more than 40 years. Now I coach people throughout the life cycle of a job search with hiring better, management, leadership, and being effective, or effective in the workplace and solving workplace issues. In addition, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us, where there's a lot in the blog to help you. You can also find out about my courses, books, and guides, schedule time for free discovery call, or schedule time for coaching with me. I also want to mention, I'd love to help you, and one of the ways I can help is opening my network to you. Connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Have a terrific day, and be great.